Welcome back. You're watching the Friday Briefing. Many thanks for staying with us. It's the second part. And as always, it's time for proper pronunciation. Let's cross over to Willis, the one master in the highly acclaimed Mind Your Language. Over to you, Willis. Well, dear viewers, wherever you are, it's that time when now we get down to good English pronunciations after that great briefing in terms of news on Friday Briefing. But now, it's your or your favorite segment, Mind Your Language and I'm Willis Ocheng. We begin with a promise, the promise that I made last week, and the words are right here. We begin with the first word in the first pair, or if you like, the upper pair. The first word, you say, bold. Bold with a long sound O for that letter A. Bold, B-A-L-D, bold. But when we have B-O-L-D, we have the slight vowel glide O. Bold, bold. Similarly, when we come to the second pair, you say scold, scold with a long sound O for S-C-A-L-D, scold. But S-C-O-L-D, you say scold, to scold somebody for doing something wrong. To scold, scold somebody with hot water. And then we say bold, Bold with somebody or bold on something, and then we say bold, like now, bold head, B-A-L-D. You get them right? Great. Now, let's get to our collections of the week, dear viewers. And our first word is a verb, it right here, to use special chemicals to kill harmful germs, to kill bacteria, or to kill insects, which are harmful. You say fumigate to fumigate. Don't say fu. Fumigate? No. Fu. Fumigate. That is the way to go. Then our second word is right here. It's a word that I want you, or I would humbly ask you, to give a try. Can you try? <laughs> if anybody said swarm, a swarm of locusts, a swarm of bees, no. You don't say Swarm for this collective noun. You say swarm. Swarm with a long sound O because A and R combine to represent the long sound O. So you say a swarm of locusts, a swarm of bees. You get them right? Yes. If you get this word right, then that is good. So when you say swarm, you are talking about the past tense of the verb swim. To swim then he swam to safety. Clear? Good. Now, let's get to our next word. It's tricky. It's a formal word. In fact, it's a verb. And you say expostulate, to expostulate, or to expostulate. And we are talking about arguing, to argue, to disagree, or to protest about something. That is expostulate. Tricky, but manageable. Right? Good, let's get to the next one, and it's right here. Common but tricky. When you show much energy and too much love for something, then you say so and so is overzealous. Overzealous, not overzealous. You also say zealous, not zealous, but Z-E-A-L. You pronounce it as zeal, zeal. So don't say zeal. Zeal. Zealous, overzealous. That is the way to handle them. Then let's get to the next one. This is a verb, very common, especially when we are talking about report. When you criticize somebody or something severely, you lambaste, lambaste. Don't say lambast. He lambasted so and so, no. Lambast, very common locally because of what we hear around us, but please, you say lambaste. And remember, you can also spell it without that E. L-A-M-B-A-S-T is also acceptable in spelling. You get it? Good. Now, let's look at another word. Common, but what you do. Avoid saying squabble. Squabble? Squabbles? No. You say squabble? Squabbles. Squabble? Squabbles. You get them right? 
Good. Now, you have also to remember something that letters do not only have a single sound value. There are those letters, about 11 or 10 like so in the English alphabet. But please, letters have more than one way of pronouncing or articulating them in terms of sound. But if you're a phonetician or a linguist for that matter, you may understand some of these things. But in communication, we have just to learn. And learning has no end or full stop for any of us in our lives. Is that true? Great. Now, let's get to the next word, and I want you, or I humbly request you, to give it a try. Can you try again? If you said ringworms, ringworms, I give you a no in good faith, not ringworms. You say ringworms, ringworms. O and R combine to represent the long mid-central sound, ah, uh, worms. Don't say worms. Ringworms, worms, not worms. Do you get that? Well, come on, but nobody, nobody, my dear viewers, nobody in this world is perfect. That is the way I always put it. Not even Willis. That is myself, because languages are very wide. Even if it comes to your mother tongue or any first language, you'll find it difficult for you to know everything in the vocabulary. So, learning never ends. Let's get to the next word, and it's right here. A tricky one. This one, when something is considered sacred, something considered sacred, and you use this term, you say sacrosanct, sacrosanct. Don't say sacrosang. Sacrosang, sacrosanct, no. Sacrosanct, sacrosanct. That is the way, but remember, the tricky word there is in my explanation. Considered sacred, not sacred. Sacred is what we see in terms of the spelling, but S-A-C-R-E-D, dear viewers, you say sacred or sacred. That is the right pronunciation, but we use sacred because that is what we grow up hearing so much around us. And that is why I say nobody is to blame, nobody is perfect in this world. Let's get to the next one, and it's a common one. This one, you simply say, you say, <laughs> you say menu, menu, the menu. When you are talking about a list of food, or when you are talking about a list of possible choices, you say menu, menu, venue, the venue. You get them right? Good, let's get to the next word, which is the last one in our collections of the week, and it's tricky, T-R-O-U-G-H. Can you give it a try? I know many people found themselves saying trough, but avoid that, it's not trough. You say trough, trough, just like cough. Cough, trough, not trough. But English can be a bit tricky because if we have O-U-G-H, taking the sound off, but in the word tough and rough, we have that af. Then remember do, D-O-U-G-H, and donut. The same, same letter sequence taking different sounding. This is something I've always talked about, and as I advise you again, please get to know we have irregularities in English spelling and pronunciation, which you can only overcome if you do some research or you read. You get it right. Let's get to our feedback. And the first group tonight, I can see teachers have decided to give it a big bang on Mind Your Language. Mwalimu Cliff Richard Osoro, Mwalimu Dickens Bele, and Mwalimu Kennedy Okoth Owo. Well, I would say in Kiswahili because we are expecting Mashuja, and so I say Nani Kamanyini. Lakini Sasa. Wacha tuangalia mambo ya kiingereza manake kila duha ni muhimu. Well, you say climb, not climb. You say bouquet, not bouquet. And you say curriculum. Curriculum. A bit tricky because of what you have as r and l. Curriculum. Not curriculum, not curriculum. Curriculum. That is the way to pronounce that word. And thank you for bringing the three words, dear teachers. And teachers for tonight, on Mind Your Language, I give you a salute. Now, let's get straight to 
Anita H. Mbone of Kilifi, you say gracious, gracious, and injudicious, injudicious, gracious. That is the way to pronounce your words. Mbesa Malombe, you say tribunal. We have tribune, tributary, but you say tribunal Mbesa Malombe. Collins Asweto, that computing word, you say router, router in British English, but you can also say router. So it's a question of choice, but router is commonly used in American English. Now we have Sarah Kiprono. You say battery, battery and battery. Don't say battery in English. Battery, battery. That is B-A-T-T-E-R-Y. Battery, battery. And then your second word, you can also say phi or fi. Finance, financial. Finance, financial. But you can also say finance, financial. So get them right. Kiemba Ivan Musumba of Iganga, Uganda. You say April, April. Don't say April in English. No. You say April or April. And then your second word, H O P E, you say hope. Hope. Don't say hop. Hop is H O P, to hop. But when you have Hope it's different in pronunciation. You get it right, and you may also pass our greetings and gratitude to everybody in Uganda. Now, Edwin Okwiri of Migori County. Edwin Okwiri, you say graduation, not graduation. Graduation, no. Graduation and gradual, not gradual. Then we have Galo G. Galma, a.k.a. <laughs> Kenyans, Kenyans, Kenyans. Nani kama nini. I'm using Kiswahili because every language is important, especially for us. Kiswahili is our national language. And remember, we are celebrating Mashuja. So we say Hongera Mashuja, but please, we have also to share sometimes in Kiswahili a bit. Now, G3, aka G3 Bule, you say protege, protege. That is the same, same man. Galo G. Galma a.k.a. G3 Bule. You say, protege. So, get it right. Kibet teach of Nairobi. <laughs> you say, can. Can. C-A-N is simply can. Don't say can. Can may sound a bit unique. But you say, can, the way you have put it. And you also say, can't. I can't do this. Not I can't. I can't sound unique, but it's not the right way. So, you are right, Kibet teach. And we have Joy Wanjiru. Oh, Joy, you love Kenya that much. Keep it up. The beautiful, magical Kenya. That is how Joy Wanjiru calls our great country. Men and ladies, or ladies and gentlemen, we have just to be proud of our country. And this mood for tonight is for our Mashuja. You get it right. Well, Joy Wanjiru, you say chagrin. Chagrin, not chagrin. Chagrin, no. Chagrin. Inta Saoke, a.k.a. Soja of Gesonso Police Station, you say Chevron. Chevron, not Chevron. Then we have Fidel Otieno of Nairobi and Amunga Jackton. Amunga Jackton and Fidel Otieno. Keep it up because we just enjoy speaking good English, good Kiswahili, and good language. Don't even ignore your mother tongue because languages have what we call versatility. There is a place you can use it, then there is another context or another forum where you cannot use a certain language. It happens like that, but get them right. Grammar, pronunciation, and choice of words. That makes it because you want to communicate. Now, Abdulaziz Barrow of Takaba Mandera, you say February, February, but you can also say February, Riwari. There are people who use that, but just say February, and your second word, computer, computer. Somebody may say computer, but please remember that is what we call sometimes affected accent, maybe because of dialect, but please, it's simply computer, not computer. You also say Twitter, not Twitter. Twitter, come on, but you cannot stop somebody from using that because it depends on personal speech habits. But the right pronunciation, Twitter, computer. Then let's get to Jaimo 2010. This is a tricky word. The middle class, you say, Bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie, tricky. Don't say bourgeois. Bourgeois, no. 
bourgeoisie, very tricky from French. And then we have maquis, if you like maquis, kalama of Mombasa, you say nouveau for your first word, nouveau. And then the second one, cuisine, cuisine. That is the way to go. Eric Opili of Nairobi, you say soup, soup. And then that is for S-O-U-P, soup, soup, soup. But the second word, soup, soup, there is that sound. W, that is the letter W, which takes the sound O. It's a bit tricky because when you have something called assimilation in terms of the sound sequence, it becomes a bit tricky. They sound like they are the same, but they are different. S-O-U-P, soup. Then S-W-O-O-P, you say soup, soup. You can realize or you may understand what I'm talking about. Now, Timon Meli of Eldoret, you say compass. Compass, C-O-M-P-A-S-S, -S, compass, a pair of compasses. Don't say compass, compass, no. Compass, compass with a sound uh. But then remember we have campus, campus when we are talking about university and all that. Campus, then compass, slightly different. Then we have Ban Makogongo, diagnosed or diagnosed. Diagnosed with a stress at the onset, then diagnosed with a stressed art, or when you reach, n no, nosed. That is the way to go. Two acceptable pronunciations. Calvin Mutima, if you like Kelvin, Mutima Safi, you say January and journal, not journal, journal, January. Then Evelyn Achi, Achieng, customer. Peter Njunge of Nairobi, committee, committee. That is the pronunciation, committee. Get it right. Mwalimu Kung Toch of Sacho Boys High School Baringo, you say myriad and tenya. Myriad, not myriad. Tenya, not tenua, and all that. Then Jacqueline Nelima of Kakamega, Karanja Mike of Limuru, Bosco Gekombe of Nairobi, Regina, if you like Regina or Regina. Tricky, but in English, that name is pronounced Regina. Very tricky. Somebody may even wonder, are you serious? But it's Regina. WKO also of Nairobi, Judith Chomugisha of Kampala, Uganda, Kyoko Simba of Athi River, and Douglas Arama of Busia. Keep it up because it's Mind Your Language, a segment of Friday Briefing only on KTN. Then we have Rotich, well done Raymond. You say listen, to listen to somebody. If you like, you can also say listen. What you do or what you should avoid, don't pronounce that T. You say listen or listen, that is the way. Engineer Paul Odindo, your word is big, but many people use it. You say, lackadaisical, lackadaisical. A bit tricky for many people because of it's more of a tongue twister. Lackadaisical is the way to pronounce that word. Then Callisto Makomondi, AKA CEO. Callisto Makomondi, as an individual, one person, don't say my names are. My names are, no. You say, my name is, our names are, my name is, as an individual. And a name refers to one or several words, several words that are used to identify a person. So like you, I am, my name is Callisto Mark Omondi. So don't say my names are. So just avoid that. Even in Kiswahili, you don't say, majina yangu, ni nani, hapana. You say, Jina langu ni si majina yangu. Wale wapendao kiswahili au wale wanaopenda kiswahili wanaweza kukueleza mashuja wa kiswahili. So, we celebrate everybody who is a shuja. So, it's coming right here from KT. And now we have another list here of those who love this show. Those who love this show, AK Onyango. AK Onyango, keep it up. At KK Kilonzo 1, keep it up. Jonathan Obara, keep it up. Das Capital, if you like Das Capital. Elizabeth Nyagoha Hadambi. Elizabeth Nyagoha Hadambi from Majengo in Hamisi. Keep it up. Western region, Nani Kamanyinyi. Mashuja in Kenya because our country is a country we have always to be proud of at a moment like this. You get it right. Well, we have also Pamela Wanjiro. Or if you like Wanjiro, Alex Madenge, Ndiwa Finest, Mwatate Finest, and Emily Mwita. Keep it up because we just love 
learning and relating like brothers and sisters. You are watching Mind Your Language, and I'm Willie Socheng. It's the time when I now take you to our surprise word for tonight, and it's right here. You say interrogate, to interrogate. Don't say interrogate. Interrogate, interrogate, no. Interrogate. You can see the phonetic transcription that I've used right there. Now, we get to our words that are confusing. Confusing words. The upper word, you say lounge. Lounge. That is L-O-U-N-G-E. Lounge. L-U-N-G-E. You say lunge. Lunge. Then, the last one, you say lunch. Lunch and lunge are a bit tricky. But you say, lunch for the last one, or the lower one, that is the bottom word. Then the word in the middle, you say, lunge. Then the upper word, you say, lounge, lounge. We are learning to play also with our tongues. Then let's get to spelling. Matters spelling. The words that are tricky in spelling. So the upper word is the one that exists in the English vocabulary. Renowned. That is being famous and respected, renowned. We don't have the K that many people think exists or is in that word, no. The second one is wrong, the upper one, right. A renowned journalist, a renowned artist, a renowned activist. Don't say renowned, renowned and don't write it like this. So the right spelling or the right word is this one. The right one is the one at the top. You get it right? Great, then let's now get to the much asked about words. The first one, you say launch, to launch something. The second one, punch. The third one, staunch, a staunch supporter. Don't say staunch supporter. Don't say punch, that is wrong. And don't say lounge, lounge, no. Launch, punch, and staunch. You get them right? Cool. Now, let's get to the phonetic or sound symbols. Tonight, we have the sound J, that voiced sound J. Just like in the word, which word are you seeing? Can you say it? Jug, jug. You hear the sound J, jug. And then we have the second one, letter G, taking the sound J, gel, gel. And finally, you say fridge, the fridge. What you should avoid is fridge. Fridge is common, but the long sound E is not in that word. Just like in the word ridge, bridge, don't say bridge, don't say ridge for ridge. You say bridge, ridge, and this one is fridge. Fridge, not fridge, and not fridge. Then sometimes, you know, you may find somebody making a mistake by saying this is the chop, the chop, instead of job. Somebody may also say, I'm going to judge. I'm going to judge for church. And then another person may say, don't choke. Choke with me. Don't choke with me. The person wants to produce the sound, J. don't joke with me. So next week, remember, when I bring that part of phonetic symbols, I'll give you the symbols for the sound, ch, and the sound, J, which really confuse many people. And you get it only on Mind Your Language. Otherwise, that same next week. Can you try to pronounce these words? <laughs> can you try again? Well, I'll give you the pronunciations next week. But remember, they are not pronounced the same way. The words in the two pairs are pronounced differently. So, wait for it, or wait for them next week, and you'll just love it so much because we have to get them right. We try our best. Is that so? You can also interact with me on Twitter at Willis Ocheng one At Willis Ocheng one on Twitter, that is the handle. Ask me any questions. Send as many words as you can throughout the week. And then when we reach that part of feedback, you will always love it. On behalf of my cameraman, Fred Moturi, it's now time to take you back to Nairobi, and I also call them the Shujas of News Presentation. Back to Nairobi. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure, Willis and Muturi as well, your Shujas in your own right. <laughs> you know, today Willis is giving us 
bombshells. First Shija, and then there's the whole Majina Yangu, don't say that, Jina Langu. Jina Langu. Yeah, but you know, I wonder what he would say about the people who say Kwa Majina Naitwa. Um, <laughs> let me take you to English. I wonder what he'd say about the people who say, my names are... Yeah. Instead of my name is. That's actually a thing. It's a problem. You should ask Willis <laughs> about it next Well, week. Philip, our director, is saying that's English me too. Oh. If that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's how we wrap things up here on the Friday Briefing, officially this time. Thank you very much for joining us. I am Ashley Mazuri. Our sign language interpreter is Marisha Witi. And I'm Jesse Rogers. Have yourself a good night. <laughs>